All right, so in this one, we do have the kit for the god, the man, the being, the wolf, the, uh, 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 the perfect warrior, Bergamo. Oh my god, I'm not gonna mince any words. We're just gonna get straight into this Bergamo. Let us get into his kit. If you think I just woke up, you're damn true I did. I was napping and I am, honestly, I'm very confused where I even am right now. I really am not here, but like we are here. If you're wondering, maintenance is uh, for PvP. That goes up three hours after reset. So where we are right now is going to be about, I don't know, um, two and a half hours prior to reset so it's three hours after that so yeah Brigamo's video will not be up for a good minute uh if there's any other information that is dropping tonight that I find out I will try to get in this video but if there's not then I will move on then we are here let us go over his kit right now Brigamo <sighs> okay we begin so Brigamo draw the ultimate arts card triangle danger theme next restore his own key by 40 cancel and actually downgrades are no conditions okay First unique, uh, let me actually pull him up on the side here, see if there's any uh, big shindig of changes that goes on for Bergamo, because Bergamo is a very nuanced character. I want to make sure we don't have anything that's like, uh, whoa, like, you know, like that type of shit, right? So let's pull this up on the side here real quickly. Just give me two milliseconds. I know it's it's, it's a tragedy, two milliseconds. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so um, reduce the anti-hit 30% when battle starts. Can't be canceled. Plus one effects uh, to self-recording entire council uh, allows from battle start. So after 10 counts, he gets Thirst and Damage Afflicted um, on Strike, and then uh, my Special Moment Arts Cause cannot be canceled. After 15 counts, he gets the same thing on Blast, and then he gets Card Draw Speed, cannot be canceled, same thing uh, so far. Technically, one shorter. His Strike went from uh, 15 counts to get his first buff, now it's 10 counts. Everything got shortened by, uh, it seemingly seems, 5 counts on the first two, right? So this went from 15 counts to 10 counts, this went from 20 counts to 15 counts. Then the last thing, um, restores health by 30% and 50% to damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. That all stayed the same, the buff numbers, the percentages, but the timer counts for the first two went down 5 counts, and then the last one stayed at 30 counts. Then, plus on fallout effects on his uh, second unique, uh, when hit with an enemy strike, blast, or blue card, while his character is on the battlefield, he gets... What is this? 30% uh, damage inflicted up to 60% cannot be cancelled. It used to be 20% damage inflicted up to 60%, so what he gained was faster build up. It's now two cards, and he's fully built up. How it was, was it was three cards, so he builds up faster. And then 25% security recovery up to 100% cannot be cancelled. What he had was 20%, so he needed to take five cards to get full key recovery. Now he's take three, four cards. I can't do math. Four cards to get full key recovery. So everything just got ease of access for Bergamo, because Bergamo's him. Himothy, we got the energy of him. He's him. As I've said 10 times now. Then restores 20% of damage seed after any attack is over, up 20% of own health, and reduces damage seed by 30% until combo ends from changing cover. Amazing, amazing things there. And now his new unique's cunning roar. All right, all right. Sounds cool. Sounds like, I'm mm, gonna, you know, peek, mm, you know. All right. The buff has occurred when this character enters the battlefield. Restores own key by 25, reduces enemy key by 15, gives them. All enemies, 15% damage seed debuff for 15 time accounts. Then all enemies, a 15% to health restoration debuff for 15 time accounts. I mean, yeah, that, that's that, yeah, that's there. Yeah, for sure. That's going to do something. All right. I agree. Yeah, that, that sure will exist. I agree. Yeah. I mean, that debuff to the whole team is good, but like, can't stack it. It's not long enough, right? And then, oh, what is this? We'll win this thing. You'll see. I, I fucking believe you. So tell me this is good, right? Plus the fall effect itself once 70 counts have elapsed from battle start. 15% damage flicker cannot be cancelled. 15% to blue card damage flicker cannot be cancelled. 70 counts for that? Plus the fall effects to self when last man standing, aka uh, two allies are defeated. Restores health by 15% and key by 50. Gains two Dragon Balls and gains card draw speed for 15 counts. Are you? <laughs> so he builds up faster. All right. That's really what I'm seeing. He just builds up faster. All right. Well, it is what it is. Uh, green card. It does nullify enemy attacks, excluding certain moves like Rising Rush. Obviously, it's a counter. It's a, it's a, 
it's a better of the Nuzumasu. It's like a Buhan barrier, right? If you ever use Buhan, his barrier, that's what this is. It's the same thing, right? The following, the following effects occur if attacks are nullified. Knocks them back to long range, they are close at close range, and this combo into everything. Gets 50% damage inflicted at 10 turn counts. Then he nulls cover change for three timer counts um, after usage of it. So you can do like a strike into a strike, or like a strike into an ult, or like a strike into like a blast. Like you'll basically do two cards, right? And cancel enemy attribute upgrades. Nothing else. <gasps> oh no! It comes into a strike blaster blue. Yeah, and ultimate. Um, no! Have you won? Oh, the humanity! Oh, what are you doing? Oh no! Why would you do that? What'd he do? He busted right around the universe. Everyone? No! <gasps> oh, no. Well, MUI did not get his Enkai buffer as we uh, <laughs> had anticipated. God damn it! Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know, maybe anything. No, that's tough. That's T U F F. Tough, tough, tough. Well, he looks fine. Obviously, we have to see his stats with the defensive unit. We really want to see their stats be high, like mid-180 to high-180 defenses. You know, 260s on the strike and blast, maybe even like up to 270, touching that marker of it. But uh, his damage numbers were never bad. Like, he actually didn't need more damage. He needed like 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, um, after five count differential, also getting what 155% after this, 170 on his blue card, some debuff there as well. It's like his damage is never bad. You know, he has like peak damage, he's at 220%. Also, his ultimate does do better. More allies, I think it's like to 90% peak. Um, so he actually can get around this 300% area right now in his damage. So his damage is never bad. It's just, I don't know, could it have been better? Yeah, sure, why not? But nothing looks bad. He didn't need it really that much. What he wants is a stat boost like stat boost like that's really it if i could argue anything you'd want to change um it would be two things one would be his green card i wish it gave uh canceled buff effects as well so maybe if there's like this yellow unit that's like type neutral and it's like all right i don't want to fucking deal with that shit just in the future he could just cancel their buff effect and they're not neutral anymore right um that would have been nice but not having it okay it's fine and uh i would just say maybe make his ultimate not as not reliant but like you know, more dependent on this three unit thing, but I didn't think they changed that anyways. So not much uh, big changes, but the kicker is the M MUI, not Zenkai buff is tough, but it'd be like that. I'm getting another, uh... oh, wait, we have an awakened equip. Ha! Huh? That awakened equip is crazy. That's what I was just told. Um, If I could find it, I'd show it because, you know, I, I, I would love to give you guys uh, the information that you, you know, ask for. But if I can't find it, it is what it is. Uh, I'm spam refreshing Twitter. Hey, what? Hey, what? Awakened Gogeta equipment. What in tarnation is this? What in tarnation? Instant awakening. Oh, what the hell do I have to do tonight? Oh, dear God. Well, it's an awakened equip. Assumedly, it's for Gogeta Blue. It has Gogeta Blue's picture. Assume it's for all Gogeta Blues, though. Not just, you know, this Gogeta Blue. Hmm. All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, I doubt it's not a plat, right? It's probably just, like, an equip for Gogeta Blues. But we will see. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Brigamo Zenkai. And I'll see you guys in the next one for his showcase. If not, this equipment with Gogeta, I, I, I don't fucking know. Whatever the hell this is. Someone tell me in the comments.